Hello, welcome back. We are going through this C primer on Load Runner, and we have already gone through all these basic concepts about C. And the goal here is to make you understand enough of C language so that you can modify the VU Gen script and customize to your name. And in this video, we are going to focus on string manipulations. Notice that whenever you are scripting in VU Gen, a lot of time we are going to hit a string and then we have to manipulate the string like we want to cut the part of the string or we want to concatenate the string with another string and produce a resultant string okay or we want to uppercase that string whatever we got to a up to to a uppercase uh, string okay so essentially all those manipulation can be done by functions that are given as part of the c library all right and the goal in this video is that we are going to explore the most used string manipulation functions all right okay to, to get started the first thing that i want to do let's say i want to declare and and print a string variable remember that to to declare a char variable that we have given char is equal to x okay so that is how we are defining a char variable to define a string variable we can do something like this char str and then given uh, array but do not give anything in that array and then you initialize immediately let's say the the the, the string is load runner rocks okay so basically what i have done i have initialized a string also you can do something like this char then a, on, on a pointer notation you can do star str is equal to same value so let's see in the view gen so this is what i did i I initialize a hello to this str and then I'm going to print here and also I could have also done using a pointer notation that is car str1 equal to let's say hello and I can do the same thing here str1 okay so if you if you run this thing you're going to see something called hello as the output okay so that's how it is and then the next thing is that let's say I have a string str1 and in str1 I have this value called hello and I have another string str2 I want to copy the string r1 str1 to str2 so to do that c function c gives you a function called strcpy string copy so let's take that in action so this is the uh, this is a demonstration for that so let's say that uh, in, in the string str1 I have load runner rocks and then I define another variable and that that and that variable is str2 and that is an array variable and what's going to store It's going to store 30 character array and then what I'm going to do I'm going to strcpy then string 2 because I want to copy to str2 so that is the destination is going to come first and then the source and then this I am printing out the value of str2 okay and, sec and another question that uh, might uh, might you know you might uh, you might need to know like let's say my my you know so this is the load runner rocks with the string just I want to instead of copying the full uh, variable to another string so, so I just want to copy only up to this okay so how do I do that so here's a demonstration for that so this function called strncpy so before we have strcpy and then this is strncpy so basically strncpy is going to take three arguments the first argument is a destination second one is source and third one is how many characters it's going to copy so by giving 10 it will copy the first 10 character okay and it's going to store that first 10 character into str2 like let's say I have a string s1 the string s1 is hello and string s2 is world okay so how do I merge this two string I want to I want to see a new string that is hello world and that is what is that is a, there is a function called strcrt string concatenation okay so here is a demo for that so this is this is I defined string r1 st string uh, str2 and then I do str cat so whenever do do str cat then the second string 
okay the second argument in this case is str2 so str2 is going to merged with str1 so now after this statement we have str1 and str1 is hello world okay so let's analyze the code and what str st, um, str cat does so at this point we have str1 and str1 is pointing to hello and str2 is pointing to world and in this line str1 is no more pointing to hello rather str1 is pointing to the concatenation of the two string hello and world so that is what str cat did so for example my string is hello and i want to know what is the length of the string very simple just do str length okay and this is the demonstration for that to calculate the 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 length of a string and what we have done we have it's a string one and then we have done str len str1 okay and then there's another question that in this load runner rocks i want to know at what position did n occur for first time okay so to do that so this is the way to do so let's say my string is load runner rocks in kio world so i want to know what where is the where is the first occurrence of character o do that i use a function called strchr so strchr is going to take the string and will take a character and then it is going to give me the location and that location is first okay similarly if you want to if you want to find out what is in from the reverse order like you know strchr is going to search o from the from left hand side if you want to find out from the from the end then that is where you just want to add one r here that is str reverse str r ch r okay so this is how you are going to find out what is the last occurrence of character o in this string all right so this is for a character similarly to get for a string okay so let's say for example i want to find out the this is my 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 source string and i want to find out where is the occurrence of a string called q and a so notice here is a character here is a string it's a two characters two character string okay so, and that is where you use a function called str str okay so this code is going to give you the first occurrence of your you know first occurrence of your uh, of, of a string and that string is qa in this bigger string and to lower and upper case the string you use a function called str lwr and to upper it you use str upr it's very simple and very uh, intuitive okay and also like you know a lot of time you might face problem in you know pointers and all those things the best thing would be to click on the function and click on f1 and that is going to take you the function reference guide in function reference guide you go to the example and here they will give you it will, it will give you an use case okay and here given a very nice example of str lwr okay so this is how you are going to use the load runner function on function reference guide so that so that you can figure things out all right then finally if you want to compare two string if you know like you know like you know which one is is bigger and the way it's bigger like you know for example it's going to going to, going to determine is compare string 1 and string 2 in an alphabetical order okay and you can always look for help for more option about str cmp but str cmp is going to give which string is bigger all right so so this is basically covers almost most of the frequently used string manipulation functions thank you